Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video. And if at any point in time in this video you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit on that like button. As well as don't forget to hit on that subscribe and hit on that bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. Good morning everybody, today is a beautiful day as well as a big day because today is the day of the launch and release of the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. And some of you have been waiting for this video to be published. I've also made sure that I promised you guys that this would go up on the day of launch of the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus which is sharing with you my limited edition or special edition wallpaper for the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. Now, what you're able to do is you can choose it for either the S9 Plus or the regular Galaxy S9. There's also two different versions for each one, the normal standard wallpaper that does not have my logo on it. And then you also have the other one that you are able to support me if you wanna download it. It's gonna be this one right here with the logo on top. So you have two different options you'd be able to choose for the device that you have purchased. Now, the great thing about this one is that the link will be below the video inside of the description. It's just a Google Drive document. Click on that and then choose whichever one you want to download over to your phone. You hit download, then you just basically set it as a wallpaper. But I'm gonna show you exactly how this was made, but also if you want to have yours be a different color than mine, because I went with the traditional kind of color of that purplish color, the lilac purple, mixed in with a little bit of blue. But if you want yours to be a different color, I'm gonna show you how, number one, I've made this and how you can also customize this. But I want to make sure that you guys let me know if you have a problem with the link, if it's broken, if it doesn't work, let me know. I'll make a new one and then I'll be able to republish it as well. Um, outside of that, we're going to go to the overhead rig. I'm going to show you how this thing is made because this one is a very amazing, um, awesome tip and trick that for some people it is hidden and you don't really know about. But it's something that you'll be able to do to edit some amazing photography on your Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. So the first step that I took was that I watched a promotional video from Samsung talking about the Samsung Galaxy S9. Plus. And the moment that all these different things was happening, this number nine came right out of the blue and I took a screenshot right at the perfect moment in time. And then I went over into the Photo Editor Pro and I was able to create this image that you see right now. Now to begin everything off, this is the image that is going to be uploaded in the Google Drive document that you see in the description below the video. If you want to have this starting off original image, and then right next to that is going to be this one here, which I have created. But this number nine in here, I, I kind of tweaked this color here and this is how you're able to do it at any point in time when you see a opportunity to get a little artistic and a little creative with any of your photos these are going to be the steps you want to basically look at your image inside the gallery on the very top right hand side you click on those little more settings icon and right here you want to open it up in the photo editor pro now once you go inside of the photo editor pro this is where you can go right over here into advanced and what i did was i first went to this backlit and i was able to brighten this up and you can see how this is even changing it even more from where it first originally started. So this one was just a little bit darker that I got from the promo video and I was able to backlight it and make it look just a little bit better. Now that I'm doing it again with that saved image, it's bringing it up even more with a cooler color that I'm actually kind of digging this one just a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit on that little checkbox. Then what you want to do is hit on tone. Now tone, this is the part that makes it super cool because this is where all that artistic and creativity comes into play. Now you do this thing that is called spot color. Once you do spot color, it's gonna turn everything into this black and grayish color. And then what you do is you wanna highlight what color you want to pop out in the image. So you can see here that as I'm holding my finger over it, it has now colored that number nine. Now from here, this is where you can go in there and you can either delete some of that coloring. You can also add some coloring as well too. So if you want just a little bit more color to be you know, popping on in, you'd be able to do it that way as well. Then what you're able to do is here is the hue. This is where you can change the color. So if you want your number nine to be a different color from before, this is where you can change the hue. Now, once you have everything completely done, you hit on save. This is going to be your end result. And then you want to hit on the save on the very top. But because I have not finished this just yet, this is where I'm going to go inside and I want to add in that little logo, that little image on the very top. And that is by going into decoration. And then you're going to be clicking on images. Once you click on images, that's how I was able to add in my image. So for the sake of this demo right here, I already have it saved. It's already uploaded on the Google Drive with the one with my logo on the very top. But I'm going to show you what it looks like when you use something else. Else. So if you wanted to use a different picture, you'd be able to kind of put this anywhere and everywhere, anywhere you want to. The very top left hand side is how you'd be able to make things oblong. This one down here is where you'd be able to rotate it. This is how you can make it bigger or smaller. And that one is how you're able to delete it. So if you wanted to maybe put something like right in the center of it and maybe 
and give it a little bit of a rotation, then you'd be able to make it look like even like this. Um, it's just a really fun way that you'd be able to add decorations and everything else. So since I've mentioned that you'd be able to take a regular image and have one of the colors pop out, we're gonna do that right here as a normal real life demo, just because the other image I showed you guys was just a wallpaper, most of it was kind of black anyways. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you wanna click on that little three dots on the very top right hand side, click on the open in photo editor pro. Now what is the next step that you're supposed to take? This is where you go over and you hit on tone. Now what is the main portion of tone where you're able to take out a color or make one of them pop out? This is where you use that spot color. Now this is where you basically press and hold on the screen of the color that you want to pop out. Now what you've chosen that area that you want to pop out, you're gonna notice that maybe there's a little bit of color that comes from their lips or maybe even their ears if it's kind of close to that color of red. All you have to do is just hit on this little eraser button right here and then this is where you'll be able to delete anything that you don't want to be colored and then this way it's gonna look exactly how you want it to. We're gonna hit on the checkbox and hit on save. So now we've gone from that other image um, from before that had everything that was in color right here and we popped it over into something that is a little bit more creative, a little bit more artsy. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. Make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also hit on that subscribe button right over here, that little red circle on the very bottom left hand side. But I want you guys to write me a comment below. Let me know which one of these wallpapers did you choose and what color did you change it to? If you want to, you can send me a tweet at Jimmy is promo. You'd also be able to send it to me on my Facebook page, which is Jimmy is promo. <laughs> or you'd be able to follow me on Instagram and link me with your screenshot that you've made or your wallpaper. Again, at Jimmy is promo. Outside of that, make sure to share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later.